Today we are back here on Factions once again here on Vanity MC on the Runic Factions Realm. It's been such a long time since I've been on Factions. I actually think the last time I played Factions was actually a couple of months ago when I, when I opened Maplecraft and I had that little stint when I played on there. But Factions is finally back. This is literally the biggest server to play on, guys. No server is doing it like Vanity is right now. So if you guys want the IP, it'll be on the screen right now. And as you see, guys, we are on the start of the world. There's about 600, 700 people on right now. And everyone is literally going insane. I actually joined the faction RIP to start off. Uh, so this is actually a big power faction. And I knew a couple of the members. So that's why I joined this faction to start off. They actually won last season on the Demonic Realm, so that's why I'm in this faction. But guys, this series should be fun. There's a bunch of content creators playing on here, like Royal MC, Dr. Candyman, Target 3D Gaming. Uh, who else is on here? Sean YT, Jenner is on. And uh, we're doing a little bit of a versus series here. So uh, me, Ro, Candy, and Target, I'm pretty sure, are doing sort of a, a versus type series. A 1v1v1v1 type deal. So that's what we're going with. And honestly, I'm glad to be in the best faction. Like, I'm in the best faction on literally the whole entire server. The faction that won last season and so many seasons before that. But for the first episode of Factions, guys, I'm actually going to be giving away a rank in today's video. So if you guys want to win a Vaddy rank, just make sure to leave your iGen down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to enter and leave a like on today's video. So yeah, guys, it's Star of the World right now. So a lot of the stuff that we're doing in today's video is not really like, uh, like fun or whatever. It's a bunch of grinding stuff. It's a bunch of setting up for the future. So what we're going to start with actually is we're going to open actually a monthly crate. So this is a runic monthly crate which you can buy in the shop actually. And as you see guys you can win the top rank vanity rank on here. A bunch of spawners and you can also win another crate. I am actually a bit of a vanity noob like I don't know what the hell slash upgrade is. I'm going to have to learn this whole entire format. I'm talking to my faction about it actually and try and get them to teach me everything. I'll probably have a couple clips with them later on in today's video, if not next episode. Of all the stuff that I can actually get from this monthly crate, the probably the top thing I want to get is a vanity rank so I can give it to one of my faction members. Uh, but spawners would be nice. Villager spawners I know is the top spawner here in vanity are some tokens. Wait, mob coins. How does that, how does mob coins actually work? Is there something at spawn I can go to? Oh yes, there is. Right here. What can you get from here? Okay, rare keys, fire resistance. Again, sorry to all the Vanity viewers watching. I do not really know my way around the server yet, but I'll probably figure everything out by next episode. Uh, but I'm just hopping on for the very, very first time. I want it to be a fresh experience. But let's just open this monthly crate right here and see what we can get starting right nope. now. Oh, I can't place it on the ground. I guess I got put in the air. All right, so I actually just hop into the TS with Royal and Candy, and they told me you actually can't open it at spawn. So we're going to go over to our base right here. And I was actually going to use this as a separate clip to show off our base so far. But I guess we can just do it after we open our little monthly crate over here. So we're going to do slash F fly, get in the air right here, and we're going to see what we can get. So three, two, one. Oh, oh, I'm trying to right, right click. Do I got to click on the ground or something? Is that what I got to do? Oh, okay. That, that. Oh my God, what is going on? This is different. I thought this was going to be like every other server, but let's just see what we can get here, boys. Oh my God, this is so much more different from anything else. Give me a rank. Come on, give me a rank, give me a rank. Let's see what we can get. Oh, no. I don't want keys. All right. So it says I won four Vandy keys in chat and nine other awards. But where do I go to collect the stuff? Is it just in my inventory? Or let's just see what else we got here. Okay. So we got 3 million, 7.5 million, 7.5 million, 8 rare keys, 16 creeper eggs, 12 zombie mob spawners. And uh, yeah, I think we got, we got four Vandy keys. So we can open those, I guess. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to use these spawners and go place them up here. So as you guys see, we do have a bit of a mob farm set up. There is a villager farm over here. Someone is already AFKing. And then I'm pretty sure we also have two grinders around here. So I think I might give it to someone else. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to place my villager spawners over here and then give my uh, my pigment to someone else so they can set up a grinder of some sort. Or maybe we can, we can make our own and try to grind it out ourselves. All right, we're actually gonna drop all our spawners right over here for abusive Pop-Tar. He's gonna go take them, and he's gonna make his own little grinder over there. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff on the server I don't really get. Like, if we hop into our E-Chest right over here, there's a Mob Sword, and apparently you can upgrade this using Slash Upgrade, which I actually showed off earlier, and you can basically make an ultimate grinding sword. So that's gonna be like our main mission throughout the whole entire episode or whole entire next couple of episodes try to get a grinding sword so we can get some levels easily and we can get our enchantments going again i don't know if i said this before but this server is not high custom enchants it's pretty much just regular 
regular type enchants on the server. Like if we go here, it's just normal type stuff. It's normal stuff. But before we get into what I want to do in today's episode, I'm going to just show off the other parts of the base we got over here. Let me just turn my render distance while we're I'm going to turn it up to 16. Uh, so it's been about, let's see, it's been about an hour and a half since the servers came out. And look at all the stuff we have already. We got a sugarcane farm that's being fully worked on over here. We got about three, wait, three or four lanes of sugarcane over here. We got multiple mob spawners up here. I'm lagging a little bit, by the way. This is a little bit weird. We got a full villager farm over here, two zombie pigment farms, and we got people grinding already. And also, if we go to F-Top over here, we are, I'm pretty sure, number two or number one. Yeah, okay, we're number three on F-Top. Again, F-Top at the start does not matter, as you guys know. So this will change, honestly, very, very quickly. But guys, now that we got that part out of the way, I want to get into the main part in today's video. So if we do slash E-Chest over here... We do have some fallen heroes or some G kit bosses for today's video. We're going to go with uh, Raider or Builder. I think Builder might be the one we want to go for as we are just constructing our base right now. What can we actually get from this? Right, left click to use. Okay. Well, oh, no, not left click to use. Right click to preview. Oh, what the heck? Is the Builder G kit a bit screwed up right now? It might be glitch. I'm not 100% sure. We might want to do the Raider one instead because I have one of each. I got the Raider one and I have the Builder one. Look at all the stuff you get from this, guys. TNT, Prot4 armor, Throbo C eggs. You get a lightning one. Oh my god. You get mad stuff from this one. Maybe I want to do this one instead of, uh, instead of, uh, what's it called? Instead of, uh, the Builder one because the Builder one looks like it's a bit glitch right now. And we might just want to use this raider one instead. But guys, we do not have the correct armor to fight this thing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do slash G kit. And we're going to open up the warrior G kit right over here. As you guys see, this gives us a lot of good stuff. Prot 4 health boost. Some custom enchants on here. We are fully geared out, boys. Look at that. Oh my god. We are... We got speed 2, we got strength 2, fire resistance. This freaking sword has looting 8 on it. And this axe is looting 10. I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put... Uh, this stuff inside our PV1 because I do not want to lose this stuff at all. That's some valuable stuff. And I actually, I do not know how rare gapples are. So maybe we want to keep, uh, I'm going to carry maybe three with us for the fight. And then what I want to do is maybe get some potions. So if I can get some potions from shop, that'd be amazing. Here we go. For some reason, it actually doesn't allow us to buy the potions right over here. So we're going to have to get potions from another source. Let me just ask one of my faction members real quick. Holy crap! Yo, my boy Abusive Pop-Tart just dropped a crap ton of gapples on us. Okay, I think this might do. We got two golden apples or three golden apples, 64 crapples, but we got no potions. Do we have any more? Yeah, we got nothing in here. So this might be the gear we have to deal with. I think our best bet, since we don't have potions, honestly, is to just tank this whole entire thing and to go for it right away. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to spawn and we're going to go straight towards a war zone because I'm pretty sure you can only place this uh, near spawn. And we want to make sure no one go. Why? What the heck? I thought I was trapped to spawn for a second. But what we want to do is we want to make sure no one targets us or no one gets near us. Okay, no one's no one's looking around. No one's looking around. All right, guys, I think I'm going to make a jump for it. We're going. We're going. We're running away. We do not have an ender pro or any of that sort. So it might be a bit of a struggle. Hopefully no one chases us all the way down here. Okay, we just need to find a spot to place our fallen hero. And that's all we need to do. I need to find like a like a hollow cave or something would be nice. I've seen previews of the fallen here before. And it's basically just like a bunch of zombies and a boss that chases you, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we want to find a spot that's a bit, not like too far away from Warzone. But we want to get to the point where people just can't jump on us and kill us right away. Oh, this is actually a good spot right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to place it right here. Okay, so three... Two, one, we're actually gonna gapple up and we're gonna place it and bang. Okay, let's go boys. GK boss off the bat, we wanna aim for him right away. Oh my god, he's actually getting domboed. We wanna aim for the GK boss, who cares about the minions? Oh my god. GK boss, come on, we wanna get this before our gapple runs out real quick. Oh my god, he's, we are literally getting tanked by this thing. Okay, come on GK boss. I can't see his health or anything, which is a bit sad, I wish I could see that. Uh, but we're gonna go take this guy out real quick. Oh, did he just die like that? Did we not get the kit? No, we didn't get the kit. Wait. Oh my god, no. Okay, we're gonna put this in our PB real quick before anything happens. Oh my god, you hate to see it, boys. We didn't get the kit. I actually don't know the chances of getting the kit on the server. It's probably like 20% chance or whatever it usually is on Cosmic, so probably around that, but we didn't get the kit. That's honestly a couple dollars wasted right there. Like, hold, like how much is a phone here on the server even? I don't actually even know. Uh, let's go see over here how much is that. What's the worth of one of these? So this builder G kit was five bucks and it's 45 bucks off right now. So it's a $50 value just for this G kit. So it's a little bit of a shame that we didn't get it, but I'm pretty sure we can get another one. We do still have 
actually wait should we do the other one while we're at it oh my god so someone i thought someone was actually honest for a second that would have been is someone bonus down or is an invisible zombie hitting me freaking invisible zombies hitting me great freaking great okay these things are still chasing me so what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna head to spawn real quick oh my god you can literally hear them you hear them guys right what the heck is going on what am i getting hit by Oh my god, my hearts, my hearts. All right, guys, so I actually had to run away all the way outside Warzone for these zombies to stop spawning. So finally that they have stopped spawning, I'm going to go ahead to spawn over here, and we're going to go finish off today's episode. I was thinking of doing the other phone here, which I have over here in my ender chest, but I think I'm going to wait till another episode because I don't want to have that bad luck going into another phone hero. But guys, now that we're at spawn, I think I'm going to end off today's video, guys. We did a phone here. We opened a monthly crate. We toured the base. Actually, I'm going to end it off in the base because we can't be ending it off at spawn. We gotta go to our main place, you know, we, go, we gotta see what the faction's up to. Let's go over there and end the video off there instead. But yeah, as you guys see, we got a sugarcane farm done, we got some spawns over there done, we got a phone hero done, which we did not get, and a monthly crate. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, just make sure you leave a like and a comment down below if you want to enter into the Vandy rank giveaway. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.